poverty, football and oil wealth. The problems and potential of Angola are writ bold everywhere you look. The match day sheen of this Africa Cup of Nations can quickly wear very thin. Every year, $6 billion of oil revenue is generated in Angola, and yet two-thirds of the population live on just a couple of dollars a day. A billion dollars has been invested in new stadia and infrastructure for this Cup of Nations, and yet for the masses, still picking up the pieces after three decades of civil war, there are precious few facilities of any description. During the week, Simao Afonso is an English teacher, but on Saturdays, he plays football in the street leagues of Petrangle, a slum on the outskirts of Luanda. <laughs> a street league not from choice, but the necessity of circumstance. We should be playing on grass, we should be playing right in school. There should, be, there should exist or there should be schools that teach soccer from, from the early time, from young guys. You know, it, it, it means that the child should, should, should learn soccer in a school. Conditions a little better for the youth teams of Luanda's club sides. A shortage of space and water means grass pitches are rare. Trucks driving through the ground, just one of the many obstacles this team faces. Coaches are also dealing with players who are often just too weak to train properly. Regarding malnutrition, a lot of time the players come here having not eaten. And when they arrive, sometimes they're unhappy. But we don't have the ability to give them food. To train, we all need to feed ourselves in a good way. But the players, they still come anyway, and they still want to learn. According to a US government report, Angola has the highest infant mortality rate in the world. Average life expectancy is just 42. For the majority of children, disease and malnutrition all have to be negotiated before any career can be contemplated, never mind that of a footballer. I'm a human and I'm sensitive towards the health problems that we live with. I just really hope that we can unite forces in an effort to change their situation and that we work hard to focus a lot of attention on our young children. The scene outside the Angolan football team's training ground says so much. Poverty living next door to wealth, ambition coexisting with frustration. Andy Richardson, Al Jazeera, Luanda.